we're back at the ThinksCon 2016 conference here in Amsterdam, and uh, we have our uh, last, uh, but uh, uh, not less, uh, a guest today, uh, Alper. Uh, um, uh, you're here. Uh, you did a talk today as well. Um, what was the talk about? Um, the talk was generally about conversational interfaces, uh, where they come from, what the current situation is, and what I think the futures are going to be that they, that they offer us. I think there's already three brilliant questions. Uh, uh, what do you mean? Like the where do they uh, where do they come from? What is the current status, and what is the future of? But let's say where do they come from? Um, yeah, I think um, chatbots have been there have been various inc uh, incarnations of chatbots over history. So um, from the command line Eliza bot, that's like a, a psychiatrist that was in 1966, till even like Clippy in Office. Um, which is also sort of a chatbot. It's like a, a corporal entity that you can talk to and it asks you questions. But I think the current boom in chatbots is very focused on mobile. So the fact that we have mobile phones that deliver us uh, digital experiences and that are very sensor rich and that already had messengers on them that have become increasingly popular. And I think the fact that we can have a, a device with us that, that messages us lends itself very well to also having non-humans send us messages. So that is the current situation, I suppose, uh, more or less. Yeah, right now we're seeing like uh, a huge explosion in services and tools and applications that do something with chat. Most of them aren't very successful yet, I think, but everybody sort of believes there's something here. So there's like huge bets being made by the various larger corporations and also the smaller ones. Uh, looking for the one thing that will stick um, but yeah it's not very easy like there's really difficult decisions being made on all levels like making something a chatbot that does something is super easy like I've talked with startups that said like it's so nice because as a dev team you can roll out something like this you don't have to it doesn't have to go through product management go to design go all the way to front end be implemented on free platforms no you can as a dev team you can just have a back end that you update and then the interface is the same everywhere so people just get the new features so it creates this iteration velocity this different way of thinking but i think a lot of the people that bandwagon on this trend right now uh, are not in the best position to make the best out of it so a lot of people think they need to do something with chat but the people who, who can do something successfully already have uh, large investments in data, in some business value, in machine learning that they can now deploy on chat, which is, I think, where, the, where you can get a lot of value.